Hello and welcome to Palma, Missouri. Well, we're well into March now, just after three o'clock in the afternoon. The snow is eventually cleared. It was particularly thick this morning. We managed to do some chores around the farm. We fed the cows, we fed the chickens, and uh, we're going to open up the farm shop. I think people should be able to come in and start buying some stuff again from us. Right, so we need to clear a lot of a lot of product, but we'll do that off camera, with the exception of the pineapples, because I'm going to make a slight change there. Um, we during February we sold all our produced product, of course brought in about 254 grand um, that's excluding the the bonuses from the environmental health agency for our, um, for our environmental school first thing that I want to do is I'm in a position now to buy this land the biggest problem is that it's growing potatoes so the question is do we let it grow out or do we dig it up and plant it again, simply because potatoes take so long to produce. I decided to let it grow out. We'll lease some equipment to harvest that as quickly as possible. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and buy that land. So let's get in there. Let's go and have a look and see. Well, let's go and have a look and see first of all what which land that is. I think it's field one, isn't it? It's pretty big. It's going to pretty much complete our purchase of our farmlands. And how much is that? 554,000. Let's see if we can get a better deal through a broker. So we're looking for field one. There it is there. It's uh, 18, nearly 18 and a half hectares. Cost the same whether buy through the broker or not. So we'll just buy it through here. And yes, there we go. That's now our farmland. So let's go back and have a look in the map. There we go. It's a bit of wooded area there. I'm not going to worry about that now. That is where we've got our, our apple orchard. We need to go and have a look at these lands. Want to plant some might consider uh, putting in a, um, a potato factory somewhere maybe we need to buy a piece of land to um, to accommodate that because I also want to uh, put in a clothing factory as well yeah, so that is our Grass field, isn't it? Oh, uh, it's still show. It's not showing. It's still showing the old demar demarcations. That's kind of changed, but yeah. So let's just jump in our. Before we do anything else, we're going to jump in our. little John Deere we're going to go and have a look at the field see what we've got where what needs to be done when right let's go and have a look did it's job during the winter keeping the little John Deere nice and uh, Secure. Okay, so 
and we don't have to really do too much there now it'll grow out nicely and so we know that in field the big field one we've got potatoes it's going to be a huge harvest and I think we'll be able to maybe put a potato I don't know, I'm not quite sure right so let's have a look and see what have we got in here in here we've got nothing at this stage and yep, nothing there so that needs to be planted with most probably sugar beet this is our big grass field almost ready to say ready for harvest but we'll let that grow out a little bit longer still got about 60,000 litres of um, silage it's not, it's the, we can't wait for too long maybe most probably we'll have to bring the grass in next month Right, so that's that big field there. It ends up being a big field that we'll need. So that's probably job number one is to get that sorted out. We've got the got this field which I think has got canola in it. It's growing nicely and Still not sure. I mean, everything is okay, but we're only showing 118 out of 125 percent. But we'll see what happens when we harvest. Um, so let's have a look. Canola needs to be will be harvested in July, so there's still a bit of time on that. March. Can we plant um, sugar beet? Yeah, we can. So we'll get the sugar beet in today. Or this month. Right, let's gonna have a look at this top field here. This one we've got all the units. Yeah, so that's going to help with the we've got about one more feed, one more hour of feed left for the for the chickens. It's probably, and it needs to be fed. More well, April is probably May again. So I've just filled them up today, so. And and on this side we've got wheat. Yeah, so plenty for flour and chicken feed. And when does uh, when does that need to be harvested? We didn't really need to be out of the vehicle to check that out. Uh, that will be harvested in... So... Wheat in September, barley in September, October. So, yep, so we've got a bit of time there. Next field that we need to check out is the... Or the last field. No, it's not the last field. We've got a couple of other fields down at the bottom there. Let's get down and go and check out. We've got another canola field down here. That's the grass field, yeah. That's all done. Doesn't need anything else done to it. So that's it's perfect. And we've got the field. It's just across the the ditch.
All looking good so far, all looking good. through the ditch and go and have a look. And we've got rye in here. So rye will be harvested in June. So that's going to come up pretty much as soon as we finish planting. So that's good. Bring us some income from there. Probably going to have to. How much have we got? Uh, how much slurry have we got in here? Slurry. Uh, we need to go to the cars. Oh, 131. Yeah, we did. We did clear fairly recently. We sold it on the global market. Came in and collected it. Going to be the easiest way, I think. And we've just got one more field to check out. It's probably full on manure. I think this takes 80,000 liters. Yeah. It's not too much of a problem because we um, we supply our greenhouse, our tropical greenhouse, with manure. So we'll just nip out to the field next door quickly. Not a very big field. How flat is this area? It's not very flat, I don't know. Just looking to see if there's any place suitable for productions. And in here we've got wheat again. Oh, we've got a lot of wheat. Right, so because we've decided to just have this field just leave it as potatoes we don't have to do anything with it I don't think probably gonna need fertilizer and that type of stuff weeding we'll wait for the weeds to grow a bit we'll weed next month most probably put some herbicide on there Right, so the first thing I think we need to do is we need to get the cultivator out and, um, and cultivate that yep, there we go we'll put it onto your hat Use the chunk there. Yeah, we might we might have to start buying in some um, some extra help. So leasing in some vehicles with workers on them to keep us up going, especially when we come to the harvesting. Definitely with the harvesting of the potatoes, we're going to have to put some money into that. But yeah, let's get this... Um, this final f field of our... of our field restructuring. 
that, that other field is just so big, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I'm not going to uh, try and combine too many things there. Right, so let's get that opened up. Strange old shape field, of course, because of the way we restructured, depending on the quality of the ground. Right, so I'll do this on a bit of a time lapse, just getting the headlands going, and we'll put it onto horseplay. <laughs> Right, so that's the first headland done. I think what we'll do is we'll try and get this onto course play now and see if that works out. Field work, course play. It seems to have recognized part of the field, but not the whole field. Uh, next waypoint. nearest waypoint. Well let's get it doing that part of the field and then we'll take it from there. Please give us an option to go and do something else. Start the job. Gonna be doing some looks like it's doing something really weird. Not quite sure what it's going to do. Just interesting to sit and watch to see what it does. We might have, I might have set it to do the it's probably I thought I changed it to headlands first but it seems to be working the center first any event I'm hoping that once we've done this it will it'll work itself out right so let's get back in there and collect the product. But milk to take down as well. Where are we going to? Here we're going to go and fetch the trailer. Actually, I don't think we really need to do. We'll do it with this. We didn't really need to do it with the with the small John Deere for the pineapples. So I'm going to when we get here before we collect this, I'm actually going to switch over the production on the on these two orchards to something different. We're pretty much fully stocked down. We'll top it up, but um, 
I was a bit disappointed in the sales of the pineapple pizza. It was actually generated less. Where's the trigger point? Is it in a different spot for the pineapple? We'll just go into um, productions. So I'm going to deactivate pineapples. to activate oranges for that one and then we're going to deactivate pineapples for here and we'll activate lemons for there and just see what they look like it's, it's a new product oh, nice lemon trees and have a look at the Orange trees. Fantastic. Yeah, as I said, I was a bit disappointed in the sale of the of the pizza. So first of all, normally I get five boxes in a day's produ production, but that could of course just have been a timing thing. We've got four boxes in uh, in February, um, and um, yeah, so and it was about a thousand pounds difference between so with two boxes of um, of pineapple pizzas and two boxes of normal pizzas, boxes of uh, two boxes of pineapples. Pizza sold for, I can tell you, because I've got it all written down, uh, for 15,900 euros, and the normal pizzas for 16,275. So about 300, it's not a huge difference, but there's a lot more work in uh, in producing the pineapples for, um, a lot more investment having gone in for the pineapples, so. I'm hoping that that the um, lemons and and oranges will be able to um, to help with the return on investment for these two these two big greenhouses that we've put in. Spent a lot of money on it actually. In any case, we'll just load these up with plenty of tomatoes. Oh, I didn't want to do that. In any case it's done, we'll have to just have splits. We're going to be selling this all to the same place because we've got so much ketchup and to deal with the ketchup has been it's going to be sold um, well I'm going to put it on to um, to to selling directly, so we're going to pay a contractor to come in and collect the ketchup. Every now and again, we'll just have to stop that and get um, put. We'll, we'll store some ketchup so that we can put it into the into the pizzeria. Got to start getting some sort of um, outside help now because we're getting little bit too big to be able to do everything 
ourselves. Um, oh, I wanted to just disconnect it so that I could put it behind the milk truck when we go in. Just park up here. Right. Well, actually, we can go and park up. Need to get up to the milk lorry in any event. Oh, nearly drove into there. Is that out of position? Must have knocked it when we were doing something yesterday in the last month. I'll just take the trail off for now. So we'll take another 22,000 litres of milk down to the to the dairy, which seems to be able to cope with the production for most most of the day and then uh, we sell the rest in through our retail operation, which is bringing quite a bit of money. The milk is actually bringing in a lot of money. Right, so that's 22,000 litres loaded. As I said, we have fed the cattle today, so the next couple of episodes we'll have a little closer look at the animals just to let you know where they've um, how they've produced the chickens are just about fully stocked with uh, with chickens well in the near future we will be able to just sell and get some money for the for the for the male chicks, for the excess production of chicks, should I say? In any case, we'll just load this up and we we'll get this down to the to town and go and sell these. See you when we're down there. Right, so yeah, we're just about at the diner to get all this. You will to get these pineapples and tomatoes sold. I'm just showing this this legal thing. I won't show you the rest of all the production that has been brought in because you've seen it so many times already now. It's just I want to go and have a look at the pizzas that have been produced and the money that they each make. We'll have to probably load them individually. Just because if we if we don't make if we make if we don't make much better money out of the pineapple pizzas then it's pointless doing doing them. Right. So let's just get out. So that's pineapple. Let's pick that up. Right, what was that that just spawned? Was that normal or it's another pineapple? Of course we normally see this is a day a day and a, well basically a day and a half, nearly two days production. Because um, normally I do this first thing in the morning.
two boxes of pineapple. That's normal. Normal. There's another pineapple there. Hopefully it's three and three. Well, to get a good indication of what is where. Right, so nothing else has spawned. That's good. Let's just jump in there again and strap that up. And we'll go and sell it at the diner. See what that brings in. We'll come and load those up and see how much that brings in. Right, let's make a note. That brought in 23,611. 23,611. Right. Enable the auto load this time. Pick up these three. What were we at? Twenty three six hundred, right? These are the plain ones and they are going to bring in twenty twenty three thousand three hundred. So they do bring in a little bit more. Because prices would vary, go up and down, so it's much of a muchness. Still not quite sure whether that's the way to go on that, to be honest. I think we'll just go and offload the milk. We'll pick up whatever's there, butter and cheese, and we'll bring that to selling to the farm shop. doesn't like the rough terrain like the tractor is. <laughs> gets caught up a little bit on the uh, just disable the auto load it for now sell the milk <laughs> not sell the milk deliver the milk Right, so that's that delivered. Let's pick up this. And we'll come pick up the mayonnaise as well and take that to the farm shop. No more to do. No more to pick up there. No. Got quite a bit of mayonnaise at the back there, so that should bring in some good money. Right, let's get over to mayonnaise. Pick that up. Go and stock up our farm shop. Right, let's get going.
Right, so we've got a reasonable amount of stock there for the farm shop. We'll get back to the farm. Right, here we are back at the farm. Going to go and deliver the butter. Oh, we'll go and deliver the mayonnaise first. That's it. That's at the top, and we can just reverse in after that. Let's see how much the mayonnaise brings us. Well, the work has finished doing that part of the field which it decided it was going to do. Bought in a reasonable chunk of money. Hundred and fourteen, hundred and about hundred and sixty thousand. Right now we'll go and deliver the cheese and the butter to the farm shop. Which will also be fairly lucrative. Right, so essentially uh, the basics, a basic farm is built. There might be two more productions that I want to put in. And um, yeah, so now we have to start repaying all our loans. Once our loans are repaid, and we've, we've kind of Put in a couple of more productions and not just gone gone out to pay off the loans pay it off as we've got extra extra money basically after we've done a couple of extra things that i want to do so uh, clothing clothing production and a, a clothing factory should i say and what was the other one What the other one was that I wanted to put in. It'll come back to me again. Oh yeah, of course it was for the potatoes. A um, potato, a potato production factory so find another small piece of land to to buy and put some it's got to be reasonably flat so that we can do something with it um, and then we'll uh, we've got a bit of capital coming again we'll get that sorted out yeah so there's still a bit of work to be done there's still a bit of Still a bit of mileage in this uh, in this series. Really enjoyed this Alma Missouri map. It's probably for me my favourite American map. Really do like it. How much are we going to make out of this milk? We've still got some more milk as well. Milk has been pretty lucrative actually. Forty-three odd thousand there. Nice, as they say in the classics. I don't, think, I don't think there'll be a full load this time. Yep, 8,000. Right, then we'll go and park this off and uh, go and see what that worker's been up to. 
It's another 16,000 there. Good stuff. We need to get down to the apple orchard again as well and go and get that sorted out. Didn't do anything there last month. Let's just get into the little John Deere and go and have a look at it. See where that work is. Yeah, completely confused really. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump out here. Let's see if we can start him off. At the top here and see what it'll do. So it's these, uh, it's still recognizing these areas of, um, of the, um, the boundaries of the last fields. And I think that's what's creating a lot of strife. So let's actually let's do that manually and we'll see you once we've done it. In art recognizing the whole field. Uh, it's a, I think it's just a question of getting these first lot done so that it um, sets the um, sets the precedent as such for the fields. <laughs> Why generate? It's going to do the whole thing again, but that's fine. That's fine. It just, it'll it'll rem remember it then. Number of headlands two. Smooth start with the headlands. And yep. Start the job. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll leave it doing that. See what it does now. <laughs> Still doing some weird stuff. Looks like it's going to be working down the center as such. And then, then doing the headlands. Pretty much going to be the same with deal, but it's probably worthwhile getting this set the way it is now. It's probably going to have the same problem with the next field, the little field that we do to the left of us here. In any event, we'll get back to the farm and we'll go and working okay so we'll go and pick up the tractor and the one of the tractors and the trailers and we'll nip one down to the apple orchard and go and sort that out as our last job for this episode see you once we're back at the farm we'll just jump into the John Deere it's the nearest tractor it's the hardest working tractor probably due for a trade-in Yep, we'll see you when we get back down to the um, to 
the apple orchard. I'll let you follow along just to show you the route that I kind of planned out to get there. We'll do it on a bit of a time lapse, speed it up a bit. Well, there we go. It went quite quickly, didn't it? <laughs> In any case. Right, let's go and pick up the apples that have been... Uh, I show apple trees. Let's enable auto load. <laughs> and if there'll be any more to produce. To spawn, should I say? Yep, quite a bit more actually. So the purple trees are actually producing pretty well. Take those into the There might be some honey here. I don't I doubt it. I think they would only have just started producing. Oh, there is a box there. Maybe a few. I don't know. Let's see. Any more? Yep. No more than that, I don't think. Wouldn't have expected much more than that. Oh, here's another one. Must have been just about ready to produce. We will see. Get everything delivered into there. But I just want to go and have a look and see if we've got what we've got produced here. So we've got We're out of space. I'm gonna have to look look at this a little bit more. We've lost production, I think. That is apple juice, apple juice, apple juice, apple juice. Don't see any honey apple there? We'll see. Let's get this loaded. Should get at least a trailer load full out of here. And let me see apple juice being produced. I don't see any of the. Oh, what happened there? Got to reset it, didn't I? Not too problem. Delivery spot is not far away. Right, I just want to have a look at the productions um, because it should be. Apple processing plant. Oh, it's not activated, that's why. Let's just reset this. We should get some... Uh, Apple honey produced in the next round of production. Disappointed that I didn't do that. 
I did actually think I had done that, to be honest. But yeah, that seems to be happened quite often with me. Is I think I do things and I don't. There we go. Is that it? Looks like it. Right, let's get this delivered as well. Got another thing of honey there. We're going to pick that up before we leave. Yes, it's not it's not bad income. It's not mayonnaise income, but it's not bad income. Yeah, I think we'll have to pop it in the morning and the afternoon here. Let's go and deliver this bit of extra honey. What is the water looking like in these apple trees? Just quickly stop and have a look. Oh. Uh, that's water in the main one, there's plenty there. Oh we need sugar, that's why. For the production of we need we need sugar. That's why we haven't been doing it. Okay. So we can't do that just yet. It's probably so we'll deactivate it. Store the, we'll store the honey that's there in the future we'll sell the honey until we get sugar going until we get the sugar beet still plenty of water in the trees yeah well uh, that's that done still a bit of work to be done here down at the apple orchard to get that working efficiently Got to get the sugar beet planted as quickly as we can. We'll get that done off camera as well. And what else do we need to do? So we'll get both those fields at the top here planted with uh, sugar beet so that's another production unit we have to put in right i'm just going to start picking up the eggs take those into the mayonnaise factory i think that's where we're going to end this episode it's been a bit of a transition episode do hope you've enjoyed it if you have please like and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio